Hey folks, Mark Nishan here, investor, flipper, licensed realtor, Keller Williams agent, uh, member of the Renegade Realty team, uh, here to give you another Detroit breakdown. I am going to show you a video that I shot while I was out looking at a house for a client. And uh, if it's a follow, it's, it's a West Outer Drive drive. And so we talked about the three ring drives and West Outer Drive is the outermost one of them. Uh, so here I got my trusty Detroit map. And in the digital age, some people make fun of me for carrying this around, but I love it. Over the years, I've just drawn neighborhoods and zip codes in it. And I'm a really visual person. I like pencils and papers, even though, you know, I've worked on computers for years. Uh, I don't know, there's just something about it that I like. So here's the map. Detroit is, is pretty giant. I'm going to drive the section of Outer Drive from up here, right around Seven Mile and Woodward. Seven Mile and Woodward's right there, all the way down to Rouge Park. And the house that I looked at was over here somewhere. So on the way back, I drove Chicago Boulevard and I want to do another video on that. So I'm going to speed up the driving so that you don't have to watch every single minute of the drive. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a feel for how the landscape changes as you go from outer drive over here to outer drive up here. Maybe I'll do another one because outer drive continues from where I leave off all the way down to the river down here. Um, Maybe I'll do that at a different time. I don't know. But I'm just going to shoot a bunch of these. I hope that they're valuable just to give you kind of a lay of the land. Uh, so if they're not valuable, let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see down in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll just keep doing them. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to do a little live tour here down Outer Drive. So this is on the west side where it picks up here. And uh, we're hitting the... Bagley area. You can see by the sign there. It's a pretty hot area in the last couple of years for rehabs. And you can see that it's pretty nice over here. Pretty decent middle class uh, homes. You know, people take care of the lawns and such. Uh, so I'm just going to let this roll while I drive down Outer Drive for a while. Coming up on seven mile here. You can kind of see, it starts to change just a little bit.
Curtis, this is kind of a, kind of a landmark road. You know, as you get south of Curtis, things change, uh, especially a little bit farther east of here, like in Bagley and stuff. And then, of course, you get south of Puritan, and things really do start to change. As you can see, even here, we got a burn out there. All right, come across the freeway. Lodge. You can still see a lot of really great brick houses, Tudor style. Schaefer Road. The hospital there. Houses are getting a little bit smaller as we keep going. Here we are crossing Hubble Road. We're still headed west. And you'll notice that after some of these larger, more institutional buildings, we go back to residential houses and they start getting smaller. They're gonna be uh, still a lot of brick, but they are more like bungalow size. Here we are at Southfield Freeway. This is the Wayne County Community College Northwest Campus. Pretty good size. Here we go, taking another one of those famous turns that Outer Drive takes. We're headed south again now. And you can see, once again, the, the houses are starting to change a little bit. So here we are at McNichols Road, and McNichols is six mile, basically. And McNichols is definitely a dividing line as well. You can see how things kind of change a little bit. So 
this is North Rosedale Park. Just still a really nice area here. Lot of nice single family homes around here. Again, in that, we'll see that sort of Tudor style. Ooh, guy almost got run into. Hopefully, he wasn't goofing around on his phone while he was driving. Who would do that, right? Okay, this is Grand River, so we're headed south now. And take a look at how the houses start to change. We are at Fenkel. I lost a little bit of footage or didn't hit record or something. That last segment was from Fenkel here. So I drive down here and what you notice is that the houses start getting smaller. There are fewer brick houses and more stick houses until you get into Brightmoor where you're definitely in a like class C neighborhood. And that's where this next video picks up. And then that's the end of it because we're down to, uh, to the Rouge Park here. All right, so here we are. We're gonna, we're in a fairly rough neighborhood. This is that neighborhood that uh, my client asked me to look at a house in, and I think for the price they're asking, we're gonna keep looking. We got a couple more to look at today, but I wanted to show you uh, some of the park here. So when you take out or drive. The thing about Rouge Park, it's actually, it's a giant park. And I think it's even larger than Central Park in New York. It's certainly the largest park in Detroit. And uh, not quite as popular as Belle Isle, but it has an Olympic sized swimming pool. It's got mountain bike trails. Uh, what else? It, just green spaces. It even has uh, like a butterfly sanctuary, something like that. So, but also a lot of people go down there to drink and smoke and hang out and party and stuff like that too. So it's got it's got kind of a bad reputation, uh, even though there's a lot of really great community-centric activities that go on there. So uh, there's some redevelopment going on. There's Friends of the Rouge Park, and they're um, you know they're working on, on bringing it back. So I guess all that to say it's in Warrendale, which is a great place to uh, buy a rental too. Some really good cap rates there in Warrendale. Uh, so, I don't know. We all hold out hope for Rouge Park. Here we are at Plymouth Road.
it's really hard to see into the park while you're driving down Otter Drive. So I can kind of show you the neighborhood. Google it. There's really some fantastic stuff in there. Um, what else? I, I can't even think of. Uh, yeah, mountain bike trails is a golf course, three swimming pools. Uh, they fly model airplanes there, like the scale remote control airplanes. And it's a really interesting example of one of the many amazing uh, structures or natural landmarks, whatever you want to call it, that is kind of a remnant from the glory days of Detroit. And you can really see how it's just been, how devastated Detroit was in general, but what kind of potential it has. Probably bears mentioning that when I shot this, it was what April of 2020. So this is in the middle of COVID. So there aren't a lot of people out either. going by did you notice the tire marks uh, people doing burnouts all over the place so it's a different atmosphere at night shall we say That's outer drive going down through the park, and then I'm gonna check out another house a little down over this way in uh, Warrendale. So here we are. This is Warren Road and Outer Drive right here. Okay, there you go. A trip down Detroit's Outer Drive. Uh, I hope you found that at least mildly informative. Uh, lots of great houses and neighborhoods along Outer Drive, but it does change, and so you have to kind of know which part of Outer Drive you're actually on. Um, if I can do anything for you as far as being boots on the ground or answer questions about Detroit, investing in Detroit, rentals, flips, uh, please reach out to me. Fill out the contact form on the main page, and I look forward to speaking with you. If there's anything you would like to see that you haven't seen yet on the channel, uh, please leave a comment or especially just send me an email. I'd love to shoot a video for you and uh, provide you some of the content that you really find valuable. So like the videos subscribe to them please and i hope to see you guys out there uh in the in the great wild world all right i'll see you next video